Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another makeup tutorial which is this sultry smoky eye with gold on the lid and um, browns to create that smokiness and haziness and the lip is quite bald so let me show you how I did this look. <laughs> First I'm going to prep and prime my eyelids because I'm starting with the eye look and I'm using here a palette from Makeup Forever and the shade I took was that salmony colour. I'm pressing the corrector into my skin with a beauty blender. To set the area I'm using a pressed powder in translucent from Bare Minerals. This brush is from NYX, it is a fluffy lid brush. As a first eyeshadow, I'm taking a warm brown with a matte finish and this is called Tiki Hoot or Hot. This is from Makeup Geek and I'm using here a 228 Ziva brush for applying it. Most of the colour is concentrated around the outer corner of the eye. I'm trying to blend this out as I go, but I'm also dragging it across the crease area. Then from Tarte, I took the Tarte Taste uh, Pro Glow palette and I'm taking this highlighter which is going to be my lid eyeshadow and I'm going to apply it with another Ziva brush. By the way, this highlighter is a golden shimmery colour and it's called Fire. I'm then taking Lit, which is this other highlighter from the palette and this is going to be my inner corner highlighter and also underneath the brows. Also to apply it, I'm using a bullet brush from Ziva. The same lid highlighter I'm applying then to the center of my lids only and I'm doing this with the finger, I'm tapping it into my skin because I want the most intensity to be there. On the outer corners I decided to apply a darker brown and this is from Art Deco in the shade 527 and the brush is a 224 from Ziva. Then along the upper lash line I did apply a cool which is from L'Oreal in black and then I smoked that out with a black eyeshadow. I'm not doing any flick this time, I'm just following the lash line and I'm also keeping this line on the thinner side. The black eyeshadow I was talking about is this one from Stargazer. It is a matte black, just any matte black would do. And the brush I'm using here is an angled brush from Rio Techniques. I would normally do the rest of my upper eye but I just decided to move on to my base this time so I'm applying now a face primer this is from Misha it's called BB Boomer and I'm applying it with a sponge. Then for foundation I chose the Vita Lumiere from Chanel in the shade 10 which is a great one for um, dry skin especially in winter I need this in my life and I'm applying it with a beauty blender. Underneath the eyes, I put then the same corrector from the Makeup Forever palette and this brush is from It Cosmetics. Mm -hmm. 
Afterwards, for a more polished finish, I took the beauty blender again and I pressed the product into my skin. I also put the same corrector on certain areas on my neck because I have redness there from birth and um, sometimes I cover it, sometimes I don't. It's more for events or something like that that I'm, I'm really bothering. Then with the same powder from Berminoz, I set my whole base and I used a big fluffy brush from Rio Techniques to do it and I'm unfocused, <laughs> I'm sorry. I just wanted to knock off a bit from the shine of that foundation because it's really dewy. From Sleek I have this nice duo and this is a bronzer I'm showing you and the other one is a highlighter. But I'm using the bronzer and a big fluffy brush again from Zaiva and this is a bronzing brush or you know just in general for powders. On myself I'm applying the bronzers along the cheekbone, mostly underneath not too much above and then around the hairline on my forehead just a bit for balance and um, along the jawline. To contour with, I'm taking the bronzer from the palette from Tarte. Um, this is a bronzer, but for me, it's just the slightest bit too grey, so I'm using it as a contouring powder. But I don't think I would look crazy if I were to use it as a bronzer. I think that now in winter time, I could pull it off in summer not so much when I'm a bit bronzier. Also, this is an angled face brush from Kiko. As a face highlighter, I'm using then strobe and I'm applying it on the highest point of my face, which is cheekbone and also above the brows, along the nose, just the slightest bit on the cupid's bow as well. This nice little tapered brush is from e.l.f. To coat only the top lashes, I am using the Sumptuous Extreme Mascara in Black from Estee Lauder. For my blusher, I'm using L'Oreal's Life's a Peach blusher, which I think is in peach, but I'm not sure. It should be, if it's not, because it's a peach color. And I'm applying it with a blusher brush from Rio Techniques. This is more of a summery or springy color for me, but yeah, in this situation, I think it looks best with this eye look. I'm the biggest fan of the flutter lashes in intoxicating false lashes. Those ones, um, they speak for themselves. I think they are just amazing, amazing. I did curl them before applying them just as I normally do, you know my drill, if you follow me for a while. And then I took the same tiki hoot or hot um, eyeshadow underneath the eyes. I'm aiming for a smoky effect, so I'm not being very shy with the amount I'm applying. For more depth and intensity on that area, I'm applying a matte black, which this time is from Inglet, so you can take whatever. And then once again, for more drama there, I went in with the same tiki hoot on that bullet brush. In the waterline, I went then with a kajal from Astoa, which is like a warm brown eyeliner. I don't ever skip the tight lining because in my opinion, this gives more bulk and thickness to the lashes. You know what's coming next, don't you? Um, this is the MAC Extended Play Mascara in black, which is waterproof and I'm always, always coating my lashes with this one. 
It's not runny at all. This is the reason I love it so much. Then for the brows, I'm using a pomade from Inglet in the shade 19, which is a greyish brown. To apply this bad boy, I'm using a Zeva angled brush. Hello brow, there you are. When I see the color, I miss the summer so much. I miss it. I think that's why I'm using it. So this is a liquid lipstick from Maybelline in the shade in the shade in the shade 25. The lick is completed. So everyone this was this week's tutorial i hope you like it and if you did like this look give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and follow me on social media i would be very glad to see you there also and if not then here on my channel next week Mwah! until then stay safe